Hi, this is Adam Ginsberg, and welcome to episode 13 of the Bolo Search series, How to Turn $1,000 into $100,000. As always, no income claims are promised or guaranteed. Your results will vary, and everyone who has access to these internet mastery technology tools have made an investment in their business. With that being said, I'm so excited that you've made it this far in the series. This is episode number 13, and we're going to do a few things in this episode a little bit differently because at this point, it's time for you to ramp up your activity. The reality is that I can show you over and over and over how to reverse engineer a bolo deal, but what you'll need to do is you'll need to get in, you'll need to practice, and you'll need to learn the process. I also think that at a very high level, I want to remind everyone that BOLO deals are simply opportunities. They were created as a way to help people who were struggling finding product to be able to point them in that correct direction. So a BOLO deal might not necessarily be something that you can sell straight away. Now, it's very possible that it's like low-hanging fruit. You can simply grab it, list it, sell it. And make money with it. But the idea behind Bolo deals is to put you in that direction of what it is that you should be selling. The fact is that there are so many opportunities for you to be able to source product. I'll just give you one example. Let's say that one of your Bolo deals was a 2K video game. And there's a whole series. There's Golf 2K, NBA 2K, WWE 2K. NHL, NFL, all of the different 2K associated games. Well, let's say that your initial Bolo deal was a 2K NBA 2022, just to pick an example. And let's say that that particular deal was gated, wasn't selling, wasn't as profitable as you wanted to be, or something that you just deemed not an item that you wanted to move forward with. That's very possible. But at the end of the day, what about the NBA 2K 2023? Or what about the NHL 2K 2022? In other words, when we understand that when one door opens, five other doors open, we really get to appreciate and understand the Bolo Deal concept. Now, as always, Bolo Deals are leading you into the understanding of how to effectively do your product sourcing. Long term, you want to be able to source your own products that you're finding and selling on Amazon. There was a time in the not too near distant past where there were no bolo deal opportunities and everyone had to learn how to product source on their own. Remember that the way you look at these deals will ultimately determine the direction that you go in. So often I see people will look at a deal and they will determine that it is not a good opportunity or all their bolo deals are bad, when in reality it's just simply that they're not familiar with the understanding of how to take one deal, turn it into another, turn it into another. And that's why this series I think is so valuable and so important for you to be part of the process. The fact is that the more you do it, the more it will become second nature. Listen, everybody walks, everybody does, right? But not when they're born, newborns don't walk. First they have to crawl, then they have to stand, then they have to walk, then they have to run, and then you kind of hope they didn't run around the place that much. But as we get older in life, and this simply becomes second nature, we don't think about the process. We don't think about putting one step in front of the other every time we walk. We don't think about how we drive a car and all the different mechanics of the gas pedal and the brake. It's just in our brain, and it's second nature. And that is what will happen with product sourcing and with selling on Amazon. I just want to remind everybody that no one's born an Amazon seller. This is a learned skill, just like a language is a learned skill, just like a profession or a trade is a learned skill. So is selling on Amazon. And you are doing the right thing at the right time by participating in this training because you're educating yourself. And at some point, the light bulb will go off. It does for everybody, 
It just does it at different paces and sometimes not as fast as we'd like. As always, as well, I want to share with you an update on our Internet Mastery community. People just like you that had never sold on Amazon before joining the Internet Mastery community and getting access to this amazing opportunity. Let's take a look and see where we're at today. So as we look at the leaderboard, we can see that we're currently at 159,571,668. That's 159 million. Well, it just went up again. 159,571,711.22 has been sold on Amazon as a result of this amazing Internet Mastery community. And I'm proud of everyone who is part of it, whether you are brand new and you're watching this Bolo's in the right place at the right time with the right people doing the right thing. And I'm grateful to have the opportunity to be able to share this information with you. So let's go ahead and jump in. I'm going to do something, as I mentioned, a little bit differently on this training series. I'm actually going to find the Bolo deal. I'm going to list the Bolo deal. I'm going to buy the Bolo deal. And I'm going to submit the Bolo deal to the prep center. And then I'm going to make a few little tweaks in the process, something that we haven't talked about before. I do want to make an observation for you. Right around episode numbers 9 and 10, give or take, we started to see that virtually every item that we go to look at is gated or blocked by Amazon. And this is just an important reminder of how Amazon policy continues to change. There used to be a time, again, this might be a recap for some of you, but it's really worth hearing. There was a time where nothing on Amazon was gated. We could literally sell anything. It was like the wild, wild west. And then Amazon started putting gates or blocking certain categories for people to sell in. For example, beauty is gated or blocked. And clothing and shoes are gated categories. Well, then what Amazon started doing was if you were in a category that was ungated, they started blocking or gating certain items or brands in that category. And now it feels like almost every listing that we look at says that the item is restricted. Almost every one. Now, there are two kinds of restrictions. There's a category restriction and a brand restriction. But there are different approval processes depending upon what Amazon is looking for. Sometimes Amazon will ask you for an invoice from a wholesale supplier. Remember, you can't use retail invoices. From a wholesale supplier, and you'll need to use that to get ungated in the category. Then at other times, you'll be asked to provide specific invoices to get unrestricted from a brand. And then the third is where you're instantly unrestricted or instantly approved to sell that item. Now, the newest layer that Amazon has added in is these videos. So more often than not, when you're instantly approved, you'll be asked to watch a video. The good news is the video is simple. It's easy to understand. The questions are simple. And if you get that video, you'll be instantly approved if you properly answer the questions. I would say that it depends. In other words, a percentage of items that are really gated will depend on what categories you're in. So if you are always looking up Disney or you're always looking up Lego, well, you might not be gated in the category, but 95% of those uh, items are going to be brand restricted, meaning you need wholesale invoices to get approved. So depending on the category, depending on your Amazon account, that's a big part of it, by the way, is the more seasoned your Amazon account, the longer you have it active, uh, the easier it is to get approved instantly or not even have to apply to get approved at all in some of these different items. Now, the approvals are ASIN specific or Amazon item listing specific. Sometimes they're the brand, but sometimes you'll be instantly approved for NBA 2K, but you will not be approved for WWE 2K. Again, there isn't necessarily a rhyme or reason around it, but 
understanding it, especially for a new person, is so incredibly valuable because you just wonder what you're doing wrong. When you go to any item that you're trying to source, whether it's a Bolo deal or not, and everything is gated or blocked, sometimes you want to throw your hands up in the air, scream like you just don't care, except that you really care. And it becomes very frustrating, and I understand that. But if you just understand the process and you know what Amazon is looking for, which is simply to verify that you're a real person, then you understand the process. I'll say one more thing, and I know I've said this before, but I think it's a worthy reminder. I know that sometimes for new people that are learning to sell on Amazon, it can be very frustrating when you have to jump through all these hoops to find a product to sell. And there's obstacle after obstacle after obstacle. I get that. But you have access to an amazing technology. You have access to these training videos that help and guide you above and beyond what the average person or person who is selling on Amazon that doesn't know or isn't in the know knows. <laughs> and I share that with you because you really want it to be difficult. I know you don't want it to be difficult, but you do. Because once you get in, and you will get in, the harder it is for somebody else to get in, the less they're competing with you. So these are all just mindset and focus points, but at the end of the day, they make a huge difference in your overall business. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into the Bolo deals. Let's see if we can find anything that we can run through the process with. Okay, so here we are. And in understanding that Bolo deals are opportunities, uh, I'm going to scroll through some of these and see what we have. The first thing that I would see here is that this is a uh, baby seat or a baby seat for a stroller. It's a bigger, heavier item. It's got a good 14% monthly ROI, uh, and it's not necessarily a good or bad item. It's selling fairly well at four buys a month, but I'm going to keep going. Uh, the next one is a clarinet pad pack. And I actually love items like this because the ease to ship them uh, is very important for me. We can also see that there's three competitive FBA sellers. The buy price is $29.99. The sell price is $45.39. So I want to take a look at Guitar Center now and see what this opportunity looks like. And what we'll see here is that this item is actually not in stock. So we can order it today and it is back ordered and it will ship when it is in stock. But what we want to go through today are deals we can actually buy and sell. So I'm not telling you not to buy the out-of-stock items, but I'm going to just keep moving forward. The next one that we see here is the uh, Disney Candy Egg Hunt. We'll come back to this one. Uh, and then the next one after that is the Bella Tuno uh, Wonder Bib. And this one is from Bye Bye Baby. Now, this really interests me because what you can see here is that the daily estimated sales are 22 and the estimated monthly buys are 51. That's a huge number. And the overall net ROI is only 7%. So the percentage of profit is lower, but the rank and the opportunity and the velocity of selling the item is actually higher. We can scroll through and we can see that there's some deals from Guitar Center. There's this deal from uh, the Gunt Studio, Ghibli, My Neighbor, Totoro, Plush, something, something. Uh, and we can see this one is selling, but slowly. Uh, then here we have uh, Dr. Teal's Foaming Soap. Uh, this is a combo pack here. I love bundles. This is a combo pack. Uh, this is... Uh, not, that's a single. Uh, here we can see, again, just I really love this opportunity. This is Burt's Bees uh, 7.5 ounce multi-purpose ointment. And this one, just based on the label, even though they both say multi-purpose uh, content, may or may not be the exact same item. We need to take a look and figure that out. Uh, I really like uh, these drumsticks. Uh, not because I eat a lot of chicken, but because they are fairly popular. The next, uh, the next item in the list is the acorn soup. I actually thought this was really soup, and then I realized it was at Barnes & Noble and that it's a game. Uh, this one uh, has an estimated sales of 0.98 and a monthly buys of two and change. 
Uh, some more drumsticks on my list this week. Uh, a mat from a cushion mat from uh, PetSmart. A mug uh, from Buy Baby Buy. So what I want to do first is I want to just simply uh, click on the Spy Rivals lookup. And you'll see here, this one is selling. I can sell four of these a month. If I click list on Amazon, you can see that I need approval to list. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on request approval just for the sake of this video. I'll click request approval. And it says that your selling application for this brand was approved. No video. So that was no video. That was instant approval. That was significantly faster than I thought it would be. And it said restricted. And so just when you're doing this Bolo deal process and you see restricted, 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 that's the norm now. That doesn't mean you're restricted. That just means Amazon is saying you're restricted. Why? Because they want people who don't know any better. They want people who don't sell on Amazon or don't understand Amazon to simply click and go away. But you want to click the link and see what happens. Some of you will get approved instantly. Some of you will not. It is specific to your Amazon account. So that one was fairly simple. But let's go back and see if there's anything else now with this deal that could be a potential opportunity for us. Okay, so I'm going to have to wait about five minutes or so uh, for Spy Rivals to update where it'll actually let me list the item. I'm going to uh, close out of the Spy Rivals lookup and head over to Buy Buy Baby, knowing in advance that I can buy this item uh, for $21.99 and sell it for $41. 29. It also shows me that uh, I could sell about five of these a week, as I mentioned. Okay, so bye bye, baby. Click on that. And here's what we can see. We can see that if I want it to ship to my home, I can pick it up in the store, but I don't want to. If I want to ship it to my home, then I can change the click this box here and we can order a bunch of them. No problem. So in this particular case, uh, something very interesting going on here. So I'll show you what this looks like in a moment. Uh, but what I would do here is I'd say, okay, in looking at this item, I can make 31%. Let's take a look on Amazon and see uh, what's happening here. So if we look on Amazon and we click the buy box here, we can actually see uh, the selling price. Let's go back to Spy Rivals, selling price 41.29. We can see on Amazon the price does fluctuate, but we can also see that if we wanted to be competitive, you can see here that is an FBA price as opposed to an FBM price, uh, that we're going to be in good shape here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, list this item. You can see that I can list the item on Spy Rivals, uh, and I'm going to set my buy price uh, and my buy price uh, is going to be $21.99 and my selling price is going to be $41.99. I'll calculate profit just to double check. I'm in the 34% range. That is fabulous. And now I'm going to list this item on Amazon. So I'll simply click the list on Amazon button and now the item has been submitted to Amazon for listing. So that was easy, right? I literally just uh, found the Bolo deal, got myself ungated, and listed the item. Now, I wouldn't say that that was a low-hanging fruit because I had to get ungated. So I looked at it. The profit is good. The sale numbers are good. It was gated. So I clicked the button and it ungated me right away. That was very exciting. It's available for sale at Bye Bye Baby or Buy Baby Buy or Baby Buy Baby. I, I, I keep calling it the wrong name. I think it's an offshoot of Bed Bath & Beyond, right? But it's Buy Buy Baby. I, I'm not so sure about that. Don't quote me on that. Uh, but it's a, it's a great opportunity. And it's not something that I would have just woken up this morning and said, I know what I want to sell. I want to sell some items from Buy Buy Baby. Now, my guess would be that there are still other opportunities that we could potentially look at to see whether or not we could buy. Let's just take a quick peek uh, on Bye Bye Baby and just see what's there. There might not be anything there, but let's take a look. Actually going to buy five of these. So I'm gonna click on the five and I'm gonna add to my cart. Okay, so obviously when I added it to my cart, there were some other opportunities there, but I prefer to scroll to the bottom of the page 
and see what other things that uh, this website, Bye Bye Baby, might refer me to. So I'm going to simply click on and scroll through here. And let's take a look at this uh, Lensino Thera Pearl, whatever this is. Okay. We can see here that it's two reusable treatment pa uh, pa packs, as it shows on the package. We can see that the regular price is $12.99. However, uh, I can get 20% off my entire purchase with a coupon. So that would bring the price down to $10.39. Now, we're just old school here. So we're going to take this title and we're going to copy it and bring it over to Amazon and see if it's there. And there it is right there. So this is the two pack. This is the exact same item that is on Bye Bye Baby. I'm going to click on see all buying options. And what we can see here is that it is selling for $19.96. And if we were going to compete with an Amazon seller that was FBA, it would be closer to $21. I'm going to click on Spy Rivals X and it's going to tell us that 16 is the magic number that we can sell every month. Seven are selling a day. Now, this is a different brand. So I'm going to click on request approval via Seller Central. And we're going to see whether or not I can actually get approved or not to sell it. Now, one of the things that you might want to consider also looking at is how many other sellers are selling it. And you can see here that there are 11 other sellers selling this specific item. So I'm going to click on request approval. And I've now been approved to sell this brand. Wow, that's amazing. So now let's go back to uh, this process, Spy Rivals X. And if I bought it for $10.39 and I sold it for $21, my profit in this case would be 26%. Now, again, I just got approved to list it. So it's going to take a minute or two. Um, I say up to five minutes for this to be updated, but it just happened in under a minute. So I'm going to uh, sell this item for $21 and I'm going to click list on Amazon. It says I can sell 16 of these in the month. So I'm going to head back over to buy baby buy. <laughs> bye bye baby. <laughs> bye bye baby. And now I'm going to ship to my home ship to my home, my darling, and I'm going to buy 10 and add to the cart. And I'm going to keep shopping. Now, I just want to take a look at this one more time. I really need you to see this. Now, I, I need you to just stop everything. And I need you to pay attention to what just happened. Th this is the single most important takeaway of any topic of any of the first 12 and now 13th Bolo series videos. Right here, right now. Right here, right now. Stop what you're doing and just listen to me for just a moment. If you're struggling with the Bolo deal process, it's simply a learning opportunity. You just need to know what to look for. In this case, I found a Bolo deal that was gated. I got ungated instantly by clicking the link. I'm going to buy five of those. They're in stock and I can sell them on Amazon right away for a nice little profit. While I was on that page of that website, I scrolled down to the bottom and I looked up another item. Now, there could be 10 other items that I could do the exact same thing with on that page. And by the way, let me be very clear. If I was not ungated instantly for the first item, I could still scroll down, find the second item, and get instantly ungated for the second item. Do you realize that the second item that I just got ungated for, that I looked up as a result of the Bolo deal, this second opportunity would never have come to my attention if it wasn't for the Bolo deal in the first place. 
And the second item is selling 16 units a month at an awesome profit point. Folks, you can do this all day long. The only thing that is going to hold you up, actually, there's two things that are going to hold you back. Number one is cash flow. You're going to need money to be able to buy the inventory. And number two is just learning. It's just time. It's just understanding and recognizing what's happening. Everything is right in front of you. This is my favorite quote. You heard me say this maybe in every episode. Opportunities don't go away. They just go to someone else. Now, for those of you that don't know me, let me just tell you a little, a little insight. When I do these Bolo Search videos, they're all happening in real time. I don't look anything up in advance. I'm not setting it up. I'm not determining what I can find or what I can't find. I'm doing the business as if I was actually doing the business. And if you notice, I'm adding this to my cart because there are very specific things that I'm going to do next that I've never shared in a Bolo Search video before that I think you're going to really like. And then I'm going to buy these items. And then, of course, I'll keep you posted in terms of how the sales go. So let me go back in and I want to look up another item because I'm, I'm on a roll now. Here we go. Let's go. Let's, <laughs> let's see if there's anything else out there. Now, what I've done is I've gone back to my Bolo deals and I'm going to scroll up because I noticed something earlier that I thought was very interesting. And that is that I have another item from Bye Bye Baby. This week's Bolo deals, I've never even heard of Bye Bye Baby before. This week's Bolo deals, and I got five kids. This week's Bolo deals are Bye Bye Baby, uh, it, it getting me real fired up about that website, okay? So this particular item, this is the Bella Tuno, and it is a wonder bib. So I'm going to click on Spy Rivals Lookup, and this one, I can sell 47 units a month. 47 units a month. Now, the only downside is that the profit is only 7%. I can buy it for $14.99 and sell it for $24.99. Now, that's the downside. Let's take a look and see if it's even in stock. Oh, my gosh. Really? Not only is it in stock, but it's on sale for $11.99 if I use my 20% off my entire purchase coupon. $11.99. Okay. <laughs> I, I really wasn't expecting this video to be as on fire as it is, but I'm going to give you another one of my favorite quotes. It's not how much you sell an item for that determines your profitability. It's how much you pay for it. So when I pay $15 for an item, I'm going to make 7%. But if I only pay $12 for the item, that changes everything. Let's take a look in the Spy Rivals calculator and see what my new profit is. Now, before I actually run the real numbers, let's take a look at how much we're going to ultimately sell it for on Amazon. So I'm going to click the ASIN. It'll take me to Amazon. I'll view all the options. And then here you'll notice that the first one is $15, but it's $10 shipping. So that's $25. The next one is $26.65, and neither of these are FBA, and there's only two sellers. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I'm still on the chicken for some reason. I'm not sure. But let's take a look here and see. So if the buy price or the sell price rather is 26, I'm going to sell this for $27.99 all day long as an uh, Amazon fulfilled item. So if I bought it and I paid eleven ninety nine. dollars and I sold it for 27. Let's just put that in the calculator and see what happens. I buy it for 11 and sell it for 27. And my profit is 61%. Excuse me? I'm sorry. Did I say 61%? Now, perspective, experience. I think that somebody who is struggling, somebody who is new, somebody who is learning, somebody who is unsure, somebody who doesn't know, looks at the item and says, it's a 7% profit. I'm out. It's too low for me. Well, a 7% is always better than zero, but some people just would disregard that. And yet when I look at that item, I end up at 61% profit for that item. What's the difference between me and you? I know what I'm looking for. 
You're learning to know what you're looking for, which is why you're watching this training series. You will get this. It just takes a little bit of time. So I think I'm going to buy that one too. Let's see. Let's see what's available because this is this one is selling the most of all of them. Let's see. I don't even know if it's gated or not, but let's check it out. Okay. So I'm going to sell this item for $27. I'm going to buy it for 11. I'm going to click, I can sell 47 of these a month. I'm going to click list on it. Oh my gosh. It's not even gated. What the boop, 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 boop. sell it and uh, list on Amazon. There we go. So I'm going to head back over to Bella and I am going to add these to my cart. How many am I going to add? I am going to add 10 to my cart. Add 10. Please reduce the quantity, then add the cart. Okay, great. So let's see what I want to do here. How about eight? Add the cart. Please reduce the quantity and then add the cart. Okay, so maybe they don't have as many in stock as they say. Let's try five. Please reduce the quantity. Okay, maybe this one's not in stock. There it is, four added to my cart. I just went by, down by one and eventually got it. All right, so what do we have in the cart now? We have the, uh, let's see, free standard shipping, great. Uh, we have the bibs, great. We have the 10 pack of the uh, breast therapy packs, great. Uh, and we have the five uh, formula mixers in white, great. All standard shipping, all free shipping, no charge on that. Now, before checking out, I went back to one of the pages. I'm going to click on enroll now. And I'm going to get 20% off your entire order every time you shop. Now, let's see if they charge for that. Okay. And they do. Look at that. It's $29 one time. And they will give me, if I pay $29 one time, then I will get 20% off my order every time I shop at Bath & Body Works. Every time I shop at Bye Bye Baby. Now, as you can see here, I was right, by the way. Bed, bye Bye Baby and Bed Bath & Beyond are the same company. So I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to log in. I'm going to make a payment, and I'll be right back. All right, so I've just purchased the $29 a membership to Bye Bye Baby, Bed Bath & Beyond. I'm going to get a lot of use out of that because those two websites, Bye Bye Baby and Bed Bath & Beyond, are amazing resources for all of your product sourcing needs. So if you're buying from those places and don't have that $29 membership, this is a 20% savings on everything that you buy every time you check out. Now, before I go to the cart and pay for the items, there's a couple of other things that I need to do. And the main one is to make sure that I can actually submit these items to the prep center. So. If I am in my Internet Mastery community account, I'm going to go to my listed products tab and I'm going to double check, make sure that I have a single check mark and a double check mark, which will validate that I'm good to go. If you're doing this for the very first time, please note that it could take anywhere from 15 minutes to even 24 hours before those double check marks appear. But my strong advice to you is don't buy any inventory, keep it in your cart until you have those double check marks. This is a verification and validation that you can actually sell, in the, sell the items on Amazon, that they're not gated or double gated or back gated or anything for any other reason. Let's take a look in the list of products and see where we're up to right now. Now, before buying the items, we want to make sure of a couple of things. Number one, we want to make sure that we get the double check marks. Once we get the double check marks, we know that we're going to be able to submit the item to the prep center. We never want to place the order and send the items to the prep center unless we know with 100% certainty that this is an item that can be sold. Now, just to go off on a tangent here for just a minute, we have gone through this process now of looking at a Bolo deal that was gated, getting ungated, finding another deal on the same website from the suggested opportunities, and then finding another Bolo deal. So in this case, two Bolo deals, three opportunities. We went through the process of applying for a membership, for which I didn't even know existed, by the way, that you could do that. $29, 20% off everything that you buy from Bed Bath & Beyond and Bye Bye Baby for the course of the year. That's actually stellar if you're going to be doing a lot of arbitrage from those two websites. 
uh, and we listed the items. We put the items in our shopping cart. I, I just, as a, as a big takeaway, I just want you to think about the financial freedom concept here for just a moment. The ability to do what you want, when you want, where you want, as often as you want, any place you want to do it. What we're doing right now is strictly online. I mean, I'm, I'm in my home office. That's literally my backyard behind me. But at the end of the day, I could be anywhere, right? I could be on an overwater bungalow in Jamaica. I could be in Tahiti. I could be in a cruise ship. I could be in Iceland. I could be in Alaska. I, I could be anywhere in the world and doing this business. And that is just another element to how powerful this really is. Because not only can I source all my products online, but I can also send them all to the prep center, have them receive them, prep them, and send them to Amazon on my behalf. All right, let's go ahead and check our, let's go ahead and look at our double check marks and see where we're at. And then I've got two other really important things I wanna talk about. This video is not over yet. We are just in the process. So I'm gonna click on refresh and it is just going to be one of those situations that has to wait. So while we are waiting, let me move on and talk about the next topic. So one of the newest tools of the Internet Mastery suite and technology uh, package is something called the repricer. And the repricer is not uh, something that is accessible to anyone outside of Internet Mastery at this time. Uh, what a repricer does is it automatically and I'll do a future video on this, but what it does is it automatically uh, sets, you set your minimum and your maximum price and it automatically adjusts that price up and down accordingly to get you the buy box, to get you access to uh, data and information that nobody else has. It's artificial intelligence, it learns as it goes, and it just grows your business. People that are using this uh, this <laughs> repricer are seeing extraordinary results. And again, I don't want to make any income claims or promises, but we're seeing 100%, 200%, 300% increases in sales as a result. So what you would do, one final step that you would do is after you've listed your item, after you've submitted your item to the prep center, what you would do is you would log into the repricer and you would set your minimum and your maximum pricing for that specific item. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually, because I have to, I really wanna show you the whole process, I'm gonna pause the video. Now, when I get back, I might look the same, I might look different, the lighting might have changed, I might be wearing a different shirt, I don't know, I don't, we'll see how I feel. But when I get back, we're going to finish the process and we will make sure that we have our double check marks, I will add it into the repricer for you, uh, I'm telling you all of that so when I get back here, it's going to seem like I was gone for 30 seconds, but I'll let you know how long I'll be uh, right here in the next section. All right, I'm back. So the entire process took approximately 24 minutes for the items to be reflected on Amazon in terms of being inactive. When you list an item on Amazon, it begins in the incomplete mode. And then it takes anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes, sometimes longer, but in general, 15 to 30 minutes for that item to be in the inactive phase. If you were utilizing FBM as a shipping strategy, which we do not advise, uh, the items themselves would be active once you add inventory. But those items will remain inactive until the items arrive at Amazon for fulfillment and then will instantly be moved from inactive to the active stage and available for sale. Now, once you've got that double check mark in your listing confirmed column of your listed products, you should then take the following three actions to complete the process. The first thing that you should do is you should submit the items to the prep center. Make sure there's no issues there. The second thing that you'll do is you'll head back to the retailer website and purchase that inventory. And then the third thing you'll want to do if you really want to take your business to the next level is you'll want to use the Internet Mastery repricer tool and set your minimum and your maximum pricing. I haven't talked a lot about the repricer tool, but I will go and show you how to set that minimum and maximum pricing. And then we'll wrap up and we'll be on our way. So let's go ahead now and take that first step. Let's submit the items to the prep center. Okay, so I'm here on my prep submission form. 
and I will begin with the first item, which will be the Bella item. So I'm just going to simply type in the word Bella here, and I can see here that this is the Bella Tuno Wonder Bib. So I'm just going to follow up by completing my product description, Bella Tuno, Bella Tuno Wonder Bib. I'll type Bella into uh, my inventory list and I will select this item. From here, I'll select the quantity number three and my original source will be Bye Bye Baby. I'll then click on Submit and that item will be submitted to the prep center. Now let's go ahead and do the second item. So the second item is the therapy pack. And let's just look that up, therapy pack, there it is. So we'll select this and I'm going to be sending in 10 to the prep center. These are also from Bye Bye Baby and I'll click on submit. And the third item that we need to submit is the baby Brezza. And I'll look that up in my inventory as well, baby Brezza. We'll select that and we are going to send 10 of those in as well from Bye Bye Baby. Submit. And so now all three of the items that I'm purchasing from Bye Bye Baby, even though they are on the same checkout form, I am submitting individual uh, prep submission forms to send these to the prep center. And that was simple enough. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to Bye Bye Baby. I'm going to purchase the items. Of course, I'm going to get my 20% discount because I subscribe to the $29 annual Bed Bath & Beyond slash Bye Bye Baby discount buyers group. And that means now anything that I buy for the next year, I'm going to get 20% off on. So let's go ahead and make that purchase right now. Okay, so I'm here on the Bye Bye Baby checkout page. We will see now that we have the ability to add some coupons. So I'm going to click on Apply Coupons. My current pricing is $281.82. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to click on uh, the Apply to the 20% off the entire purchase order. We'll click on Apply. We'll close out on this. And we can see here now that I am saving $56.40 on this item, that means that I've now made twice my money back that I've invested in the $29, 20% off opportunity. And of course, this is just the first of many purchases. I'm gonna go ahead and click on checkout. Now I could check out here or I could check out using uh, GPay, but I'm gonna go ahead and click on checkout and log into my account. And then from here, I will uh, enter my credit card information. So I'm going to cut that part of the video out, uh, but I am going to continue uh, with my checkout. I'll be right back. And as you can see, my order has been placed and successfully we've got these uh, items on the way to the prep center. And there you have it. We went into our Bolo deals this week. We found the deal. We reverse engineered the deal. We found another deal. We went through the process of listing the item. We waited for that item to be confirmed. We listed it via Spy Rivals. We let our Internet Mastery community tell us that the items were confirmed. And then we submitted them to the prep center. For, after that, we then purchased the items for sale. Now, for the most part, this is episode 13. For the first 12 episodes of this series, that would be the process. I want to add one additional layer into this for you because I told you that it would enhance and increase your potential sales of this item, your profitability, and the speed in which the items sell. So Internet Mastery has created a unique uh, set of tools, a proprietary technology called the Internet Mastery Repricer. And what you do with the repricer is you set your minimum and your maximum price that you're willing to take for that item. Now, I'm not gonna get into a discussion on how you determine what those numbers are, but I am going to set them now within my account so that when the items arrive at Amazon, from day one, they will be optimized for maximum sales. Now, the benefit to this is number one, your items will sell for more, typically 15 to 20% more than when you set the pricing on your own. The second thing is that you end up being in the buy box more, which ultimately means your items will sell faster. 
And then the final piece of what the repricer does is it changes the velocity. So SpyRival says we should buy X, but what you're going to see when you're utilizing the repricer is that it's more like X times three or X times six in terms of your overall results. So let me go ahead and very quickly set my minimum and my maximum pricing, and then we'll wrap up. So the first one that we're going to look at is the Bella Tuno. And I'm going to click the down arrow under edit product. And by default, whenever an item is uh, inactive and the NA on the current price or the minimum price, it sets the price at 0.1. So in this case, I'm going to set my buy price at $11.99. Now, by default, I decided I was going to sell my item for $27. And for the maximum price, I'm just going to do what is double that price. Now, you'll notice that if I buy this item for $11.99 and I sold it for $27, I would make 48%. But the reality is that what I want to do is I want to take this slider and I want to lower the minimum price to where my minimum ROI is going to be set at 5% or 6%. Now, I'm not planning on selling the item for 5% or 6%, but that is how I'm going to set my minimum price. Now, this repricer will actually sell the item for what is the best ultimate price for me to make the most sales. So I'm going to change that price by selecting update on Amazon and then click save. And the first one has been completed. I'm going to go ahead and do the same with the second. In the second example here, this is the Therapearl. And with the Therapearl, we set our buy price at $10.39. And we set our minimum price at $21. So if we didn't change our default minimum pricing for the repricer, we would make a 26% return. But again, I want to set my minimum at 5%. This is a set and forget strategy. So I'm going to lower it all the way down to 5%. And again, I'll let the repricer move the price up and down based on the competition, based on the other sellers, uh, and set it for the proper strategy. So here we are at 7%, 6%. That works. I'm going to click on Update Amazon, click on Save, and this one is now done. And on our final item, we're going to take this one. We have a buy price of $21.99. We set our minimum pricing in at $41.99. And we can see here that that generates a 34% ROI. So I'm going to lower the slider down to a number that matches about 6%. And we'll see what that number looks like. So I've got to slide it back up to the proper profit here. We use our min max profit slider to come in right at that 6% uh, profit. And this is our net profit after our shipping and our fees. And that price would be $34.80. So I'm going to save that price as well. And there you have it. The min and the max price have been set. The current price will not be relevant until the items become active. We have unpacked a lot in this episode number 13. The first 12 episodes were really focused on the Bolo deals and how to reverse engineer them so that you could get the results that you were looking for. But at the end of the day, it is time now for you to go to the next level. And we did that here, I think, in episode number 13. We went through the process of finding a deal. And again, understanding that items are going to be gated or at least appear to be gated initially. But the big takeaway here for everybody who's watching is that the Bolo deals are just an opportunity. They are a gateway to help you find other items. And as a new Amazon seller, you might see things differently than someone who sold millions of dollars on Amazon. The fact isn't whether the deals are good or bad or whether the opportunities are there or not. It's the learning of what you need to be looking for and then understanding how to implement it. So we found a Bolo deal that was good. Then we reversed engineered and found another deal that was not a Bolo deal that was better than the Bolo deal. Then we found the third opportunity. Two of the three were gated 
and yet we were able to sell those items and get instantly ungated. Then from there, we listed the items on Amazon. We waited about 25 minutes in this particular case for the items to be showing in our Internet Mastery account. Now, we have to list it through Spy Rivals or Spy Rivals X for that listed products feature to be able to show us that it's ready to be taken care of. So we listed the item. Once it was double check confirmed, we submitted the items to the prep center to make sure there was no issue in doing so. From there, we went and we purchased the items. And then I went into the repricer. The repricer, by the way, is a seven day free trial. After that, it's $49 a month and it should make you multiples back on that $49. What it will do is every minute or two, depending on the competitive nature of your listing, it will maneuver your price point to help you make the most sales. It is artificial intelligence. It's all built into it, and it is extraordinary in what it does. That is a new caveat that you want to have prepped and ready to be launched into action when the items arrive at Amazon. And I can't wait to see what happens. I'll keep you posted. I'll, I'll let you know how quickly they have sold out once they have arrived. But my expectations are very high. Remember, the faster we get our money back, the faster we are able to reinvest that inventory. So I hope episode number 13 was a good one for you. Episode number 14 will continue to grow the series. But make sure that you're utilizing and maximizing the potential of your Bolo deals.